What else are we going to talk about, Pops? I got something else here for us. Okay. So everybody was shocked, Pops. Why are we trading as the Buffalo Bills with the Kansas City Chiefs? Why are we trading in the draft? Like, what are we doing? Everyone on social media attacked Buffalo Bills for it. So Buffalo Bills GM was on the Pat McAfee show, and he had a few words to say about it after Pat McAfee asked him a few questions. Shout out to Pat for making that happen. But he says, um, first of all, I'm just going to say not exactly what he said. It's going to be in my words. So, you know, take it for granted. Watch the Pat show. Now, he was on the lines of saying we both drafted a wide receiver and we were fine with trading down no matter who it was with as long as we're getting what we think is worth. And then they didn't want to go down too far in the draft and then lose the wide receiver that they liked. And I believe that they're, you know, liking the wide receiver was Keen, uh, Keon Coleman. Uh, Josh Allen was also on social media talking about how he loved him. You also uh, told me about that and made some statements, and I went and looked up some extra information on that. Um, so Josh Allen is extremely ecstatic with the pick. And I think it was just a matter of the Bills trying to get a couple extra picks in the draft, like uh, the manager was saying, or the GM was saying, sorry, and that they uh, just really had their eyes set on Keenan Coleman, and or Keon Coleman, whether that's, the organization or Josh Allen, but you know they went with Keon Coleman over Xavier Worthy. Yeah, well, Worthy had because of his speed. A lot of people didn't like his as far as his receiving skills, as much as his speed. Is. Yeah, that's that's a fair statement. His speed was definitely the reason why he was taken in the first round. That is fair, pops. That it that is one hundred percent fair. I feel like he kind of has the same frame as that uh, receiver out of Tennessee or Texas with the Atani. Um, I can't remember his name. He's decent, though. He's decent. They got around the same frame. But anyways, they addressed that situation. Um, and then he said that uh they just really enjoyed you know the Florida State wideout um and what he was able to accomplish there and what he was able to do. And they felt like dropping down on the draft was a better decision for them than you know drafting Coleman there. And they ended up getting Coleman where they wanted, um, without having to go up in the draft how they did in the year before with Kincaid and uh. Um, he also referenced to that that they didn't want to make that um, choice again to where it's like, okay, cool, now we have to go back up in the draft to get somebody and then end up you know, trading for no reason when they could have just got their guy or losing their guy. So at least they got their guy out of the deal. And um, they also uh, – the, or sorry, the general manager also said that we're going to have to see how the season plays out and how their careers play out to see who had the better wide receiver pick is basically what I was getting from it. So, we'll see what happens. Subscribe to the Juice and Pop Show. 